What's up? What's poppin'? What it is? So, this is a tutorial on how I achieved this color hair with the House of Bundles hair and if you guys want to know any details like kind of like a review on the hair itself then you guys can look in the description bar and I'll leave some details about the hair and how well it's the color and everything down below so here's me doing some glamour shots thinking I'm cute <laughs> okay and we're gonna get into this video or the tutorial <laughs> Okay, so this is my mannequin head. I know it's a mess, but these are, are are my bundles. It comes with that little silk thingy, but I mean, I made it into a wig. So anyways, I got three bundles and a closure. It was one of their bundle deals, and I got that off for like 200 a little over. But I used this color dye as well as Kiss Color and the color Electric Yellow. I think it's K30, but I'll leave all the details below. Um, also, with the three bundles, I got two 18s in a 16 inch, I believe, and then I got a 16 inch closure, which the, I'm now pinning down just to secure it on my dome head. And I also went back later on and added a grocery bag up underneath it. I don't really know why because <laughs> it already has down it. <laughs> okay, but um, I'm just distributing this color as evenly as I can. I'm not doing anything crazy like I usually do. I'm just putting it on there. Boom. Bam, one, two, three, ABC, baby. Um, if you guys want to be, you know, a little bit more, I guess, uh, I don't know, like creative, I guess you can leave some spots blonde, which I tried to do in the beginning, but it didn't work out for you, girl. So I did end up having to dye this, this closure twice. Um, the first time I rinsed it out after about an hour that it set, it just didn't seem like it took that well. So I did it again and, and it was fine. So right now I'm using the aluminum foil to get ready to dye the bundles themselves. I did all three bundles the same as that way. So basically right now what I'm doing is I'm leaving it in the bundle itself until I get to the part where I need to, you know, take it loose and do the rest of it. But that's all I did. Literally just distributing the color as evenly as I can everywhere that I can see that it was blonde so I can get this as yellow as possible and um this is the easiest way I found to actually dye the closure or not to dye, to dye the bundles and not get everything everywhere so that's what I'm doing right now and I'm just looking for places that need to be dyed once again, that's Kiss Electric in the color, Kiss Electric, Kiss Color in the color Electric Yellow, and I used three bottles, but I had five, so yeah. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so right now I'm just taking the rubber the rubber bands off and I'm just combing it through and I'm just gonna go back and get all the spaces that I missed at the very top, the inside, the outside, you know, every space that I see blonde, I'm just gonna go back and put some more color on it and make sure that it's all covered up. And then I'm gonna put it in an aluminum foil. I left each bundle covered in aluminum foil for maybe three to four hours, honestly. I was just trying to get it as yellow as I possibly could. That's the last bundle, like I said, I do it the same way. So I didn't make it into a unit. I don't have a tutorial on making wigs just because I really don't know what I'm doing. But if you guys are interested, I did go by Chrissy Cousin Tutorials. So if you guys look up Chrissy Cousin on YouTube, then her wig tutorials are the ones that I use every single time. And that's the method that I use. So I'm just just kind of um I'm kind of I'm actually sewing it down right now and the first two bundles I double wefted and the last bundle I single wefted when I sewed it on this is the end of it and I'm gonna show you guys how much I have left of the three bundles which is not very much so I was trying to use as much of it as I could and I got the wig pretty full So I'm just combing it out for you guys, kind of showing you, um, you know, what it looks like. But basically what I did after this was I straightened out the wig and I pressed it, you know, silk straight, which it did straighten very well. Um, and then I went back in with, I think, a one inch wand, curl wand. And that's how I got the loose curls. I did them in kind of big sessions so that it wouldn't be tight curls because I wanted it kind of just like a little way. So that's how I got the finished product that you've seen in the beginning of the video and that you are seeing right 
now. So if you guys have any questions, you can leave them down below. Make sure you comment, like, and share. Uh, make sure you subscribe as well. Thank you for all my subscribers that I got thus far, all my new subscribers. Definitely appreciate you guys. So make sure you definitely stay, stay subscribed for more videos. And here's me thinking I look cute, <laughs> but probably not. So I'll see you guys in my next one. Peace.